I propose this evening to speak to you on a new kind of radiation or light emission from atoms and molecules. These were the historic words of Sir Chandrasekhar Venkatraman as he began his lecture to the South Indian Science Association in Bangalore on March 16, 1928. Following this, Raman proceeded to describe a discovery of the world-renowned Raman effect which changed the course of physics and won him the Nobel Prize in 1930. The first Asian and Indian to receive the most coveted prize of science. Countless men must have observed the blue color of the sea since ancient times, but it took the genius of C. V. Raman to decipher the natural law behind this seemingly simple phenomenon. The curiosity to question simple occurrences and the perseverance that takes to answer them is what sets scientists like C. V. Raman apart from the common man. Uh, the light scattering experiments which he did actually arose from his uh, uh, love for nature, no doubt about it. But I would also like to point out that his uh, um, you know, early research in the presidency college in the area of uh, light, optics, has also contributed to his interest in light. And I would like to say that he is also a great admirer of uh, Lord Raleigh, who was an outstanding scientist of his time and who had himself had so much of love for nature. And what is more, the discovery was made far away from the great centers of scientific research using simple equipments aboard a ship sailing in the Mediterranean Sea from Europe to Kolkata. In principle, Raman effect explores the scattering of light when it passes through a medium and explains that the blue color of sea is due to the scattering of sunlight by the water molecules, a phenomenon which is called molecular diffraction. When light beams falls on a liquid or a solid medium, some of the beams pass through, but a small part of the light is deflected and scattered in different directions by the molecules of the medium. Raman demonstrated that the wavelength of the scattered light is different from the wavelength of the original incident beam. This change in wavelength of the light beam on deflection by a medium is known as the Raman effect. See, one of the very interesting experiments that he did was diffraction at oblique angle through a rectangular slit. This is a problem that was really uh, waiting to be cracked. And he did crack it at the age of 18, believe it or not. And then he went about publishing two papers in one of the outstanding journals of the time, Philosophical Magazine of London. And just imagine at the age of uh, 18, uh, he comes out with the two you know, uh, excellent papers in a leading journal. Identified as one of the fundamental principles of optical physics, Raman's light scattering effect finds immense applications in today's digitalized world. Researchers and experts working in the area of pharmaceuticals, material sciences, petroleum industry and other chemical industries regularly use a technique called modern spectrometry. This is a method which uses the spectrum of the scattered light to understand the molecular structure and properties of the material under study. The technique is based on Raman effect. Similarly, the Raman scanners used to detect drugs, explosives, hazardous chemicals and gases is based on the principles of Raman effect. Raman lidar is used in atmospheric physics to measure the atmospheric extinction coefficient and the water vapor vertical distribution, so on and so forth. Honoring the discovery of this fundamental principle every year, February 28th is celebrated as National Science Day in India. National Science Day is a countrywide science festival celebrating the need and the contributions of science and technology. 
a day when the nation commemorates the genius of Sir C. V. Raman and celebrates the spirit of science through a plethora of activities ranging from seminars, debates, quiz competitions, exhibitions and lectures involving college and school students, teachers and researchers. Organized by the National Council for Science and Technology Communication, program activities of this year are focused on the theme Make in India, Science and Technology Driven Innovations. As we celebrate yet another Science Day, let us accept that if applied wisely, science and technology has immense power to transform the world. Let us all strive towards leveraging on this power to drive innovations that will make the world a better place to live in.